YouTube Nation. I hope that you're having a blast. Even if you stay at home, get your knowledge, get more knowledge, man. Put more stuff on eBay or whatever platform you use. Me, you know, I'm going to my storage, coming back and forth because I got bags and bags and bags, inventory that I can use all these days, you know, maybe two more weeks, maybe three more weeks, I don't know. But whatever they give us to stay at home, just spend time with family, spend time with the Lord, you know, like just build your knowledge. Do not let these days go a waste, my people. Put your knowledge beyond study the market because when those stores are open next month or a couple of weeks, you have so much knowledge. They're like, wow, you know what I mean? So yeah, right now you read the title. I'm gonna teach you how to ship out baseball bats. Don't get me wrong, my people. This method, I've been using it for ages. And I mean for ages. Like I said, bubble wrapper, I'm gonna use tape and I'm gonna use brown paper. Just so easy, my people. A lot of people's gonna ask me why you don't use it on the priority boxes because those cost a lot of money and this channel is here to help you to save money or if you don't know how to send a baseball bat like I said I've been doing this for a long time and no one's complained not a single person my people so everybody when they receive their packages they get it perfect and they give me the good feedback so saying all that Let's go to Dollar Tree or to the 99 cent store and get the supplies and then we're gonna go home and now you got it. Let's do this. Let's go. So let's go buy the supplies. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So let me show you what you're gonna need. I'm in my Dollar Tree. It's a dollar. Everything's a dollar. So you only want to find brown paper. I mean you just go to your supply section in the top. I should say you know um, I'm just gonna say those but let me show you what you need but let's see right here we got one brown paper and it don't matter um, what tape you use but I use this tape let me see there we go brown you know you know brown tape for it can match the paper but you don't need it you can use any tape so I'm gonna use brown paper brown tape and we're only looking for some bubble wrapper everything's gonna cost us maybe like four dollars or three dollars it just depends how big is the bat so right now i don't see no bubble wrapper but uh we don't see it um let me look for it maybe it's on the other side i was looking at those so they didn't have no bubble wrapper but we still can do this um uh, you can see all the stuff is gone i mean the supplies would never end my people like over here in LA already calmed down I mean the trucks is always bringing supplies you know what I mean like the first times the people was like panicking everything was gone <laughs> trust me all the cookies I mean all the snacks all the drinks they were gone man but maybe I go to another store really quick because they don't have them you know I'm surprised if, I mean they had this tape because eBay sell this tape for one maybe for like five six dollars you know but they do have all your junkies <laughs> your donuts your rolls your honey buns all the junk food of course that will be here for sure you know if you like snacks I come out who don't like snacks I mean let's see if they got if they do got my favorite candy they don't but let me go pay for this. Is this going? Let me go and pay for this. This is only gonna be two dollars. So everything was like two dollars. You can see it right there. So let's try to go to the ninety-nine cent store. My closest one. This is my Dollar Tree right here. So yeah. So we need one more supplies. Let's go. All right. So we made it to my local ninety-nine cent store, man. So we're gonna see. This should have bubble wrapper at this one this should I mean it only take me from my Dollar Tree to this one like maybe a few minutes but you're gonna see what people with masses don't panic it's just the workers that have to wear that you know so let's see man let's see if we do find some uh, you know I already know what's the bubble wrapper at I already know 
because I used to buy bubble wrapper a lot. I don't buy some no more because I don't even use bubble wrapper. I use something else. But let me go with the, which it should be over here because I already know. So let me see. Uh, yep, it should be right here somewhere. I don't know if they're gonna have it. There we go. But I don't, I don't, I mean, I wanted to buy, uh, I wanted to buy the dollar one. This is the $3 one. I don't know what happened to the dollar ones. I guess they don't have it. I guess I had to buy this one. I mean, I can use it for more, but I only need a piece of roll. Let me see if they do have it or not. No, I don't think they're gonna have it. I think this is the, I mean, $3, wow. I mean, that's understandable, whatever, $3 is $3, but I was looking for the dollar one, you know? So we already find our power wrapper for $3. And now, we already got all our supplies that we need. Let's get out of here, let's pay for it, and let me show you how to package the bat. Okay, so we're gonna start, like I, you know, you know, I prefer this bubble wrapper because it's only, you know, the ones that the company send you in a box, but any bubble wrapper would do. For me, this is more easier because, you know, it's, it's two of them, you can see, one, two, and, you know, you just put the bat right here. It's really easy, like, you know, let me get my tape. You know, I forgot to, um, I forgot to rip it off. <laughs> but let me show you like this. And this tape, you can rip it with the hand. That's what I like, you see, look at this. So easy. And, I mean, what I do, I go all the way like this, all the way like this, and just rip it. I mean, it, it is so easy, look at this, see? I mean, sometimes you don't need two bubble wrappers if you wanna cut it from here. That's what I do, but for right now, I'm only gonna show you one. I mean, like I said, you wanna cover the whole thing. But um, let me um, uh, I mean this only is a sample, so I can uh, you know you want to cover the whole thing. You want to put it in the middle, so you want to cover the whole thing with bubble wrapper from over here to over here because I don't want to you know I mean of course you you can put it like this, but and now your brown paper. So what I do. Um, let me get my scissors. You want to get some tape, right? And you want to put some tape on the bubble wrapper. For it to be a little bit more tighter. Now, now you want to just, you know, squeeze it really, really tight. Like I said, it just depends on your bubble wrapper. This bubble wrapper that I have is kind of fat, so it's protecting the bat really, really good. So now that, you know, everything is there. And like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. Now, you just, you just want, to, want to put your tape all around the... You know what I do? I don't use this. I just go like this with the hand and just rip it more, more quicker. So now, you can see it's still missing. Now I go like this. See? And I'm gonna show you why. Because I'm gonna put some tape here. And like I said, try this when you sell baseball bats. People never complain about, you know, nothing. And I know you, I know you said, but it's still some over here, yes. Don't, <laughs> don't worry about it. That's why you, this only costs you a dollar. So you're gonna get your paper. So now that you got your thing right here, and like I said, this is my method. I know other sellers not gonna agree with this, but like I said, everybody got their own ways to send stuff, gotta be creative, but let the item be safe. I mean, you can send it, how you want to send it, but let the item 
get to that person safe. And I've been doing this for a long time and no one complained for so many years. I'm still doing it. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go like this, like this. And now they would now when you use your tape now, right here. I know people's gonna say why you don't use the you know post office box. It's more easy. Yeah, it's more easy, but like I said, they charge a lot for that box. And you wanna save every little penny. So now what I do. I just go like this. You know, I hope you can see it. So now, I'm gonna go all the way around. All the way around. And like I said, it's your choice if you wanna put it like this or not. But I just, I, I've been using this method for a long, long, long time. And like I said, I never had a bad feedback. I never had a complaint. And I always receive good feedback every time I sell baseball bats. They always tell me that the bat came safe and the bat came um, protection and everything. So like I said, um, the paper only cost me a dollar. The tape only cost me a dollar. The bubble wrapper that I had, yeah, it cost me, um, I think it cost me a dollar too. I know we went to the 96 cents store to buy that two ninety nine dollars bubble wrapper, but I didn't use that because um, I had other bubble wrapper that I wanted to use you, so. Like I said, this is fun. <laughs> like we almost, we're almost there. But like I said, you, you can start from here and go all the way to the bottom. And yeah, so I'm done. Look at this. That's it, man. So, this is how I wrap my baseball bats. The label go right here. And now, like I said, if you wanna cover it up, it's your choice, you wanna cover it up right here, right here. <laughs> This tape is really good. If you go to your Dollar Tree, it's only a dollar. On eBay, they're selling this tape maybe like eight or seven dollars. But if your Dollar Tree do have it, um, get it, it's only a dollar. And like I said, if, if you just like throw this in the ground, look at this, nothing gonna happen, nothing. Because the bow wrapper, the brown paper, and this tape is really thick. I mean, it's safe, look at this. You know, but when you put your label, I bet you a hundred percent that when your buyer or is gonna see the pack gonna come, no damage or nothing. I guarantee you that, my people. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. Please leave your feedback, leave your comments. What do you think about this method? That you will use it to save money. Because trust me, I try those boxes about, you know, when you send baseball bats and they do cost a lot of money. This, it depends how much it's going to cost you. It depends how far you're going to send it to or what country or what city. Like I said, every time I send it like this, I always get good feedback and that's what I like it and that's why I keep it sending it like this. I love it, my people. So like I said, I will make more videos about this and that and this times that we're spending more time at home take care of yourself my people and i gotta say it and i will see you later again